Hey Ryan, let's get this episode started, eh? Mm. Said hey Ryan, let's get this episode started. Mm-hmm. Oh Ryan, thank God he's not on a first date with me, eh? Is it noon? Oh yeah, yeah, it's noon, and you're also paying for this really expensive drink. Hey guys, thanks for staying up till noon. My name is Ryan. My name is Corey. I'm sure if you haven't gotten it from the intro there, this episode is about dumb first date moves, man edition. So yes, dumb first date moves. I mean, I guess you can't really relate to this. Well, I guess you can. I mean, obviously you've been on a first date, it's a long but it's been a, he's been married <laughs> it's for a long while. time ago. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'm more... It was a long time ago. <laughs> I'm, I, I can relate bad. a little bit to this, you know, being in a, a new relationship, just going yeah, on a couple right, of months. Yeah. So I can tell you what I did and what I didn't You do. probably did every one of these. <laughs> I did absolutely every one of these, and it worked. No, it didn't. <laughs> so I'll take it away. The first dumb move you can do if you're a guy, don't expect her to pay. I mean, th this one's pretty obvious. Yeah. Like, if, you know, some, some... A lot of women will resent you if you offer and um some of them might not you know unfortunately that's it totally depends on the woman of course but go into it expecting to pay yeah that's the thing maybe Do maybe we're gonna have women chime in and go i, uh, I could take care of myself that's and perfectly uh, fine you here know, i can pay for my own meal exactly. don't, don't tell me that i'm you know weak what? and everything that is perfectly <laughs> <Right>? fine <laughs> <laughs> and we, just, we just lost all our women viewers too <laughs> up till noon up till noon but no that's perfectly no fine. but seriously like, yeah like like just expect to pay. I mean, don't go in that and be like, yeah, I know she's going to pay. Like, just no, no, expect to pay. Yeah, at least, she, it, 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 maybe, maybe, she, maybe she'll say, I want to pay. At least at that point, you can say, well, why don't we split the bill? If she says, you if she says you've been a total gentleman, here's a, she pulls out a gold bar and you find out she's rich, whatever, fine. But exactly. Then you just, let me land a jackpot, gonna... baby. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, just expect to pay. That's, that's the best thing yeah. you can do going into a first date. And kind of on the same topic, don't, if you... Go into the, the the expectation that you are going to pay. Don't take her somewhere super expensive. One for you, and also two. Um, a lot of women will be turned off by an overly expensive first date. I yeah, mean, totally. So they'll be anxious that you'll that you're going to expect something at the end of the night for what you spent, or they'll wonder if you have so little going for you that essentially you're trying to buy her affection. Totally. So little going for you, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. See, I mean, yeah, like I've, I mean. I've fallen. I've done this before. I'm not gonna lie. I've, you know, I've the first date go to somewhere fancy, but I didn't wasn't expecting anything. I just wanted to make sure that I was impressing. Yeah, you're her. thinking that you're impressing like, her. Um, I mean, it it didn't. I mean, it wasn't a negative thing to me. But some women might find it negative. So, and even if you're looking to get lucky, that girl might not even do anything with you because she loves getting stuff and, exactly. get, and gifts. Yep. And she knows that you'll chase her until you basically give up. And by that point, you've already. Spent spent so much money, on her and, and she knows uh, that you're uh, at your pushover. Yeah, pushover. Yeah, don't be a pushover. Yet. You know who you are. You pushover. Yeah, if, if you're like, if you're agreeing, you're a pushover. Shut up. Just, you're a pushover. Just, hey, Alt F4. Right. Don't even watch this. No, please don't go. <laughs> please watch us. <laughs> um, next one. This one's so simple, but some people just don't do it. Don't dress like a slob. Look kind of good. Like you don't need to dress in all like your your suit and tie. Like, but. Come on. Iron your clothes. <laughs> shower. Wash your hair. You slob. Like, clean your shoes. You know, and just, just wipe don't. them a little bit. Just, just don't. Just, don't just like a slob. Yeah. <laughs> Simple <laughs> as that. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, come on. Don't grill her. Like, don't grill her. Yeah. Don't bombard her with questions. So many men do this, and I've heard lots of women compare the process to basically being interviewed for a job. No one goes to job interviews for fun. Yeah. Totally. If, you if you tell her something about yourself, she'll probably reciprocate with the same information or use statements or even guesses. Instead of asking her what she studied in college, just take a guess. Like, like make a conversation out of it. Like, exactly. Don't, don't, hey, what, would you do this and would you do that? And, uh, you know, like, just, like, nobody wants that. Like, you're, just, you're kind of feeling each other out. In the exactly. First Look at me talk like I'm a...
Bro, hey? <laughs> yeah, like I know what the hell I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. I'll be right there in a second. Hang on a sec. <laughs> it's so true, though. Like, grilling a, a girl is just, just going to turn her off, man. Just don't do it. Um, next on our, uh, on our list here is don't do the old-fashioned dinner in a movie. The girl's probably been on a wait, million dinner in a wait, movie. Wait, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah. I mean, a dinner dinner is good. Movie is good. But it's just not intimate enough. I yeah. mean, you're, you're, you can't talk during a movie. And if you are, you're an asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. It's just, it's just so... It's been played over, at, over... Everybody's done it. And just don't do it. Just don't do it. I guess, I guess it's just not as fun it's like, not as fun exactly like if you want to have fun take her bowling something where you can you yeah, actually like, get physical with her and or pool or go to a comedy club. she'll physical, thank you <laughs> exactly like go do something fun and she'll thank you for it because she'll be like hey I've, this isn't a typical first date because i've been on a million dinner yeah, and like movies slap on some hip waders and go fishing i mean there you go do something isn't cool that, isn't that fun yeah i mean it's better than right? better than going to a dinner or a movie your first date am i fun <laughs> you're all right <laughs> you're all right Corey. you know what and it, I mean, common sense here, but I mean, guys are, there's so many e egotistical, chauvinistical guys. Don't brag about yourself. Oh, yeah. You absolutely want her to know about your best qualities, obviously, but you want to communicate them in, in a way that she finds interesting and that you can actually, you know, again, conversate about. Yeah. Not, don't sound braggy or, or insecure. For example, you could tell a funny story of something that happened at a restaurant, mentioning in passing this guy. You know, mentioning in passing that, that this took place during your last trip and whoever, wherever you go, just make like a, yeah. just make conversation. Um, I mean, you know, say, for example, if you talk about, if you mention, you know, that it happened somewhere where you're traveling, then maybe you'll start talking about traveling and exactly. it just goes from there. Like, why? Yeah, you're not breaking, you're, you you're not breaking, say, oh, like, yeah, like, I went it, to China like yeah, a million by, times. Yeah, by the way, I just, I took my private jet to China and yeah, like, that's I travel all the time, I go first class and... Yeah, like, no, she's not going to care. She's going to, it's just showing off your insecurities and no, dick. nobody likes that, so yeah. don't do that. Yeah. Um, that being said, don't be negative. Um, you've probably heard by now that being negative, especially about your ex-girlfriend... That's just that's just bad to do. Don't do that. Don't bring up your, don't bring up your ex, man. Don't be negative. People who are negative actually usually typically, um, you know, aren't happy in their life. You know, especially on a first date. Like, why would you be negative on a first date? Like, yeah. just don't do it. Especially so, just be positive. It'll make a huge difference. She'll see you in a good light, and she'll be happy that she's with you because you're not bringing her down, basically. And even if it's going good, don't make a second date during the first one. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Like, if you're, you know, presumably if you're attracted to each other and you want a second date, it's, it's, it's just gonna, it'll just happen. I mean, oh, yeah, don't, totally. it, you'll, you'll, you'll call her after, like, don't halfway through say, hey, so we, what do we do tomorrow? Like, that's, yeah. that seems, that's a little bit freaky. <laughs> yeah, that's well, a little bit scary. And like, you know, there are, there are exceptions to that rule, though. If you suggest, hey, like, do you like sushi? Oh yeah, I yeah. like sushi. And you say, hey, you know what? It'd be fun to go to sushi in the summer. Yeah, like awesome. We should go cool. to that. We should go to that new place on the beach exactly. or something. Exactly. Like, that's that's not making a second date. That's not that's not planning a second date. That's just talking about a future possible plan. Yeah. That leads it open that maybe she knows that you're interested. You know, like, same. Hey, hey, this is fun. I'll pick you up tomorrow and we'll go somewhere else. You're that's like, just what? that's just really not, weird to do. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. That that'll freak her out. Um, another thing that freaks girls out: don't talk about sex. Don't. Just don't even don't. Like, this should be obvious. Unless, like, you, unless she's speaking. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing. is Unless she brings it up, then it's perfectly fine. Let her bring it up, though. Let her initiate or, it. Or their first date is, like, you met her with intentions of having sex. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. Craig about it before Craig's you even list. started. Yeah, Craigslist. Craig's um, so, yeah, bringing, Which, bringing, bringing sex up yourself is just not good. Um, it, it's a modest, <laughs> at best, it's a modest. Um, but, unfortunately, you'll just come off as creepy. Yeah. Don't be boring. Of course, you'll talk about your job or something on a first date, and she'll want to know what it is you do in general information, but don't get carried away. Yeah. She doesn't need to know the technical details or the ins and outs of your work or boring little details of your life. You know, do this, and she'll be sleeping in her soup bowl. Or, yeah, exactly. Or she'll just be like, oh, God, what I get myself into? Yeah, like, like it's, that, that stuff comes out after when you know exactly. you're compatible and you're truly interested. And, like, like, it's, it's like if guys are probably like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Especially if you're going on a first date tonight. Just don't, don't sweat it. You know what? If you want to talk about your, your job, do it. Just don't talk about, like, how technical it can be. Yeah. If you work in, a, like, a, like, a computer shop, 
say, hey, yeah, like, you know, I, I enjoy selling computers. Don't be like, hey, yeah, I enjoy selling RAM that goes into my Acer PC and, like, uh, you know, my PSU. Like, you know, it's, don't do it because it's just going to bore her. Just tell her what you, what you do. You don't need to get into detail. Yeah. <laughs> um, that being said, this leads into my next one here. Don't lie. You're going to get caught in your lies, especially if she likes you. Yeah. If you talk about, like, hey, yeah, I'm pretty cool. Like, I got this, like, I, I drove motorcycles all my life. And then later down the line, you find out that she has a motorcycle and you haven't ridden one. You're going to be in a lot of trouble because yeah. you're not going to know how to ride that motorcycle. And that falls into anything. You could talk about your job and talk about how you have this cool position, but really you're just working in retail. Yeah, if you're, if you're dating somebody that you need to impress by lying and make yourself out to be some big thing or you or she's not going to want to date you again then it's 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 not it was meant to be exactly and, it was, and she's she's yeah. useless honesty honesty is the best policy guys that's that's definitely for sure and this one ties into our intro which you know drove me crazy when ryan did it but put your f-ing phone away <laughs> oh. we all know that that social media is 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 everything now and that your phones everybody has some glue but when you're connecting with somebody you don't do it with this yeah, put exactly. your phone away switch just it off put it make sure you put it off but you know what look if you do have it on and your phone rings just be, apologize be, be professional yeah, about exactly. it be like, excuse me do you mind if i take this this is my dog absolutely <laughs> Corey. you can take your phone call from a dog that was very polite of you to say i love, my, do- I love, I love my dog i mean yeah dogs are pretty cool i like your dog too dogs are pretty cool <laughs> Last but not least, this is the very last one. And this one should be This obvious. one's really important. You if, should do it. You should got, do it. If, if you, you want to go on a million dates with her, you should do this. <laughs> don't. He does not know what he's talking about. He hasn't been on a first date in a very long time. <coughs> don't say <coughs> the L word. Don't say you love her. Big mistake. People have done it. People have done it. And you are stupid for doing it. Just don't do it. Just keep it in yourself. Don't let it out. You're going to get in a lot of trouble and it's not going to work out. You have... You have like insecurities or something if it does come out like oh, for you sure. can't you, you don't you don't know that you that you love somebody yeah, yeah that you're, you're just off your first date yeah just i don't care happen. i don't care if the girl is smoking hot and she's rich and everything that you ever dreamed don't say it just don't it's simple as that even if she says it to be honest even if she says it first don't say it back cuz that means she's crazy yeah if she <laughs> says, if she says it you're better run <laughs> yeah you better run exactly so that being said guys hopefully we gave you some good input good you know a little bit of information that can help you out on your first date um let us know down below if you have any um other kind of tips that might help some guys out and they'll read it and maybe you'll be able to help somebody and get lucky or at least get a second date you never know this video here the one that you just watched what you're going to do is you're going to click like and then you're going to click share and then you're going to share 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 and if you share it you know you might be helping somebody out you got to make sure you help people out that's a good of you to do that being said subscribe to our videos that way you can get all of our daily updates monday through friday 12 p.m central time and if you want quick access to all of our social media links and some sweet ass merch and any mini man information <laughs> www.uptonloon.com right there guys. speaking of merch we have merch on our website uh, we've got sweet mugs. We've got sweet shirts too. Mugs twenty bucks. Shirts are thirty. Ship mugs twenty bucks. Mugs twenty bucks. We mugs got 20 mugs, bucks. mugs. Mugs. Mugs twenty bucks. bucks. So yeah, ship to your door. Shirts are thirty bucks. If you're interested, email us at contact at uptillnoon dot com and we'll message you back and let you know how you can get some uh, some of these bad boys in your cupboards. And uh, as always, guys, Corey, Corey, as always. Oh. Thanks Thanks for staying staying up till till noon. noon. Hey everyone, wasn't that a great episode? Click above me to see our previous video. If you're binge watching and want to check out the next one, click right up here. Check us out on all of social media's finest platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, our Google Plus, and our Snapchat username is UpTillNoon. Visit our website above, UpTillNoon.com. We'll take you to where you want to go for all our social media links. Yeah!